Greetings and salutations, uh, beautiful people. I have the pleasure and the honor to speak to you once again. I send you so much love and gratitude and appreciation for your viewership and your support. In this video, I would like to share with you a method that I use for detoxifying my body whenever I go on a detox phase. And I guess now I'm going on a permanent detox phase because I'm doing six months of, of just fruits. Um, but I want to correct that because I'm, I forgot to mention this in the last video. It's fruits and leafy greens also. So I'm incorporating lettuce and spinach every now and then. Miranda will make me some uh, absolutely delicious lettuce wraps with like fruits in them, right? So things like avocado, pepper, etc. I get a picture of, uh, of it on Instagram. So that's, I want to just... Uh, I want to correct that. I, I forgot to mention that in the last video. I'm basically essentially following the mucusless diet uh, by Arnold Eret, which is a really fascinating book. I highly recommend you read it or you listen to it. You can find it on YouTube if you want to listen. Essentially, what he recommends is fruits and leafy greens, and that's what I'm doing right now. So, what is the method? How am I going on about this? Anytime that I go through a detox phase, I do something where I gently walk myself through a detox, especially if I have been mistreating my body prior to this phase, okay? And, and I have been mistreating my body prior to this phase with foods that absolutely belong nowhere in the human body, okay? And um, I'm feeling it right now, there's a lot of mucus coming out of me, dandruff, so this is one way the mucus comes out. Right here, actually, I, I have a little bit of a congestion. Um, so I'm seeing this, you know, I, and, I, and I'm sort of accustomed to this now because I, I sort of been going through this phase where I would mistreat my body, then I would clean it. But now, of course, six months, you know, I'm determined to finally, for good, clean up the mess and stay clean and stay on, on the narrow, righteous path, let's say. Okay? So... Where am I going with this? Right, so uh, what I want to give you here, so I'm on day five right now, and I want to give you the method that I am doing, that I'm following, to gently ease myself into detox. Because if, let's say, I was to go straight into water fasting, for example, I would experience plenty of detox symptoms. Now, it's a lot quicker, right? The cleaning happens a lot quicker, but nevertheless, I like to always ease myself into something. And this is how I'm easing myself now into this new and permanent uh, phase of cleaning up the body and then staying clean, all right? So, number one, what I do is say, all right, I said, I'm going to actually take you, take you guys a week before or five days before I started. So, I set my mind, let's say a week before I set my mind, I said, February 1st, for six months, I'm going to eat nothing but fruits and leafy greens. Okay, great. Now, why did I do this a week before? Because I want my mind-body complex to get accustomed to the idea, to get used to the idea, to adapt to the idea, right? Because if I was to say, all right, tomorrow I'm going to do it, it's like, well, but I just had like all this like salty and, and like spicy food and, you know, my body's craving it, you know, like it's craving it. So for me, it's like such a big step to say, all right, tomorrow I'm starting just fruits and leafy greens, right? So I do it a little bit in advance. I say a week or two even, 10 days, something like that. You say, all right, you set a date and you say, okay, I'm done. I'm going to do this. And then for the next seven days or so, I affirm it to myself. I affirm it, affirm it, affirm it, and my will grows stronger and stronger. And in those seven days, I begin to lighten up my diet. So if I was having something fried, let's say, something you know so i was eating something that was fried i would stop eating it like a week before okay and i would sort of lighten up lighten up lighten up lighten up so that a couple of days before i would start i would have maybe like boiled potatoes now with no salt no seasonings nothing right i would lighten up lighten up lighten up lighten up leading up to the time that i'm starting this and then i would also strengthen my will along the way okay so now of course You've been mistreating your body uh, and plus things from way back then when you were growing up, toxins in your body, right? What do you do now? How do you go on about this? Well, I'll tell you how I go on about this, okay? 
you could be hardcore and go straight into like a 10 day water fast or a 40 day water fast, right? And just say, I'm gonna clean myself up, I'm gonna do it the hardcore way and that's perfectly valid. What I like to do, I say, okay, I begin to lighten up my diet leading up to this time that I'm going to start this detox phase, okay? And this is how I started now, week number one. Week number one, I'm eating fruits, leafy greens, and fatty fruits, that would be basically for now, avocados. Okay, you really have three fatty fruits. Avocados, coconuts, and then olives, but good luck finding raw olives that are not salted, not in brine, not boiled. Good luck, it's very difficult to find them, okay? So I'm gonna say coconut and avocados, and I've been eating lots of avocados. Now why am I eating lots of avocados? First of all, I still get the cravings, for like fatty foods, fats are addictive, right? I still get the cravings for fat, Right, fatty stuff, things that are fatty. Um, so avocado is a nice way of transitioning and still, I guess, fulfilling those cravings, but it's raw, it's fibrous, it's got, you know, 70% water in it, so it moves decently throughout the digestive tract compared to other fatty foods. Uh, not fatty foods, fatty foods, okay? So I've been eating avocados now. It's day five and I've been eating them every day. Uh, they're quite dense, they, you know, they, they're just, it's a dense food, right? And they, they satisfy that craving. Uh, Miranda made me these delicious uh, lettuce wraps with avocado in them, pepper. Pepper is a fruit, tomato is a fruit, cucumber is a fruit. So really delicious. And uh, she's gonna make me again tomorrow. So, week one, I said, okay, I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna be fruits and leafy uh, greens, but not strict. Not strict meaning, I'm eating avocados. If there is coconut, I might have a coconut also. Okay, uh, and leafy greens and you know all kinds of fruits really right tomatoes everything you know pepper bell pepper So I'm not I'm not strict now. What specifically what's the game changer here is avocados avocados considerably slow down the detox process Considerably, okay, I'd have about two or three a day of them for the last five days But I'm gonna have like two or three again today tomorrow Miranda's gonna make me those delicious wraps uh, so I mean avocados, they're slowing down the detox, although you're still gonna feel some detox now. Especially if you've, if you've been eating like cooked foods, like I have been, you know, almost like what, every other day or something, you know, if I had to guess on average. Uh, salt, uh, seasonings, etc. right? Yeah, uh, you're gonna experience some detox regardless because you've cut out. It's often about what you cut out rather than what you eat. Okay, then most of the time it's what you cut out of your diet. So you begin to experience those, some detox symptoms. And then, uh, so the avocados slow, uh, uh, slow them down considerably, considerably, okay? You're not really gonna go into a deep detox as long as you're eating uh, avocados. That's pretty much almost never gonna happen, actually. Okay, fats are heavy, dense, they require a lot of energy to digest. Uh, they take energy, you know, that the body wants to put into detoxing itself, into digesting, processing, and eliminating the avocados, okay? So, you experience mild detox symptoms, and that's what I'm doing now, week one. Okay, that's my week one. Now, moving on to week two. So week two for me is gonna start on Monday. I started this on Monday, so today is Friday. So we still got Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So Friday is day five, Saturday is, is uh, day six, Sunday is day seven. Okay, great, so I've been eating avocados, I've been, you know, Primarily, let's focus on the avocados because they do slow down the detox and, get, and will never really get you into a deeper state of detox. But you're still experiencing it, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do week two is I'm gonna be going on watery fruits only. Now that's when shit gets interesting. Another thing, oh, 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 I forgot to mention. So avocados and bananas. Bananas also slow down the detox. They're drier and, and dates. I've been eating dates as well, okay? I've been eating dates, bananas, right? The dates and bananas also considerably slow down the detox due to their dryness, primarily, okay? Higher in fiber and, and, and there are less water in them. So, anything that's drier uh, will slow down the detox. It takes more energy to digest, to process, and eliminate. So, I've been eating those two. Week two. All right, I'm ready now to up up the detox here. I'm ready, okay? I've been, I've been preparing myself here. So, actually, week one starts before, which was lightening up my diet starting to you know get rid of the fried stuff then get rid of the salty stuff then you know move it down to just basic like boiled potatoes boiled sweet potatoes right and then boom that's week one week two which is actually week one when you start 
I put avocados in there, fatty things, and then dry fruits like bananas and dates considerably slow down the detox. You're only going to be experiencing mild detox symptoms. Now you're more ready. So now I go into week two of, the, of, of, the, of this phase. Watery fruits. Now things get very interesting there. You'll be surprised if you're only eating watery fruits like watermelons or uh, mangoes or pineapple. Uh, you know, if you'll be surprised how deep you can get in the detox grapes. Okay, so I'd, I'll do that for week two. All right, but I, I'll be eating maybe throughout the day, maybe two two times a day. Right? Not I wouldn't be doing like eating once a day. So that'd be my week two. And then maybe on Sunday, so one, on day seven, I'll have like uh, those delicious lettuce wraps with avocados that Miranda makes me. Okay, great. That's week two. All right. You're more deeper into the detox. You've given yourself a nice little day of the treat. Avocados, leafy greens. All right. We go day uh, week three. Now, week three is going to be also watery fruits, but eating once a day. And that's, you'll also feel the detox goes deeper into it. So by week three... You're doing well, you know, you're, you, you've gotten, you've, you, you're doing well. You've gotten in a deeper state of detox in a gentle way. And then maybe a month in, I begin to do some water fasting. Okay, I'm not planning on doing any water fasting until March. Maybe I'll do a five-day water fast or something, a three-day, five-day water fast. Okay, so instead of me starting right away with water fasting and, and like, you know, just watery fruits, especially coming off of like a, 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 an unhealthy diet, right? A, a very heavy mucus-forming diet. Uh, doesn't matter if it's vegan or not vegan I'm telling you you know the all these things are very mucus forming and because like why do you think when you eat beans you're like farting 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 it's not good if you're farting farting, farting it's not good okay so um, imagine you're driving a car and it's constantly like making those noises right you know those old cars you drive them and they're constantly like mm, 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 right it's the same thing okay there is a malfunction in the car there's a malfunction in the body that food does not belong in the body okay so to recap this I take about a month to ease my way into the detox I would start with week one I would have avocados dried fruits week two I'll have watery fruits with like a, a day or two of like let's say uh, lettuce wraps with avocados in them okay so that'd be like week two uh, eating maybe twice a week twice a day and then week three would be watery fruits uh, eating once a day, maybe also a week of uh, a day of cheating, let's say. I call it cheating now is like those lettuce wraps with avocados, right? And like some dried fruits, dates, bananas. Week four, I would go strictly watery fruits for like seven days straight, nothing, no dried fruits, no avocados, no leafy greens, okay? Then after that, I would do a water fast. I would do a three, five day water fast. And there you go. Now I've prepped my body to go on this journey and actually reap the benefits of fruitarianism. What are the benefits of fruitarianism? More energy, cleaner body, cleaner um, uh, nasal pathways, more better breathing, etc., etc., etc. So uh, in the beginning, you're not going to reap those benefits because if your body is is, uh, is toxic, like you know, I don't. It depends what you've been doing up to up to that. Uh, if your body is toxic, you're going to experience detox symptoms in the beginning. Okay, you're, you're gonna experience detox symptoms, and if you're really toxic, you might and you do watery fruits, you might even like experience like mild flu-like symptoms. Okay, uh, but the benefits of vegetarianism, if you go long enough, is more energy, less sleep, more energy. You know, but you've got to go the, the 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 full the long mile here. You've got to really uh, step your foot on the gas and 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 to trust the process and have patience. Okay. Uh, so that's my way of gently easing my body into detox instead of going straight like turning it on and, and you know uh, turning it on just like that is really quick and dirty way you can even start the process with a five day water fast and then say all right from here on I'm only eating watery fruits you'll, you'll go a long way like that you know you could you could start it like that that's a quick way right um, but you might have those cravings pop up every now and then if you do it that way I like to do it gently so that I slowly, slowly, slowly rid myself of those cravings also. So right now I still get the crave. I mean, I'm really looking forward to eat avocados today. I still get the cravings for fatty things, okay? So I slowly, slowly, slowly wean myself off of them because ultimately I really just want to be eating watery fruits, ultimately. I'm talking about the lettuce wraps you're going to make me tomorrow. <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, yeah, so 
so I, I sort of do it slowly here, as you can see. Um, I'm, I am a sucker for avocados. Fatty things are addictive. Your body just gets addicted to them, like it gets addicted to heroin or something. Uh, if I was to just start like a five day water fast and I say, all right, no more avocados, no more dry fruits. Uh, Cause the nice thing about dry fruits, if you really want something really sweet, you can have a, like a dates, right? So I'm kind of working with the addictions. I'm working with the cravings as they go along and I'm slowly and gently working my way to it, to a state where I can eat watery fruits like say 28 out of 30 days of the, of the month or something so march will be interesting march is when i will get deeper into this well I'll, I'll do some water fasting i'll go on long periods of strictly water watery fruits right but i take the first month to summarize the whole thing i take the first month to gently 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 put my body in a deeper deeper state of detox very slowly and gently still satisfying some of those cravings for like sweet things i use dates and bananas for that like really sweet right and then because uh, i was eating like chocolate like a lot before so you know i got those like really some really you want some really sweet right um and then the same thing the, the cravings for like fatty things i i do avocados and i put some olive oil on them and then i eat them with lettuce okay so i'm slowly working with that you know and then mars should be interesting mars should be a deeper state you know a cleaner body that's more prepped for a deeper detox and yeah it'll be interesting so i wanted to share this with you guys um hopefully you get something out of this uh and what else yeah so uh if you want to join our uh, patreon uh, family right you could pledge your support i got the link for patreon down below in the description okay um so in return of your generous support because i know how much you guys love this channel right and i know how generous all of you guys are um, by the way, I'm just joking around just because you, you pledge or you don't pledge doesn't mean oh like if you pledge you're more generous than everyone else Okay, I'm saying if, if, if it's something you really want to do you want to support this channel Go ahead go down below on the patreon pledge your support in return for that We'll add you to our telegram group uh, This is where we discuss a myriad of things in life including fasting including fruitarianism cryptocurrency relationships etc 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 okay so you'll be in a group of like-minded people uh, all of us have sort of you know expertise in different ways okay and so if you need help in anything you know you can also message me directly on telegram right so if it's something you're interested in the interest a you have to really want to just support for the sake of supporting B I'd like to give you something in return as well okay so go down below on the patreon if it's if you're interested click support and then there is the link for the group you can join in right away. Uh, if you want to just maybe throw us like a couple of million dollars, one-time donations, two, three, four, five million dollars, I get a link down below on PayPal, okay? Uh, I'm just joking. If you could also like pledge one dollar, two dollar, right? Uh, other than that, yeah, I do also video calls. So if you want to book a call to talk about anything. Uh, interestingly, if I go back in the calls that got booked like in the last few months, most of them had to do with like nutrition. So it seems to me you guys are very interested in this, in this, and and I love this. You know, I feel like part of my a big part of my mission is health and wellness. Okay, so I continue to share uh, content like this. All the links down below in the description. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video.